Oh man. So free gas, free food. Free and then every, but at worst, where everyone's fucked. Yeah, fucked. Uh, pretty much. Everyone's I think well, I don't. I don't know what to do. Uh, that, it's that weird thing. I really have occasionally gone like, well, I'm fucked. Like, damn, I'm too deep into this to do anything else. Though <laughs> I've really thought that a number of times. Other, other than like, the only thing is just like diversifying what I do myself. I'm going like, okay, well, I guess I'm. Some of it's just going like, okay, I'm going to try and do acoustic stuff and right, do other right. projects and then work on other things. But I've kind of just gone like. No, I'm fucked with that. There's nothing else to do. Like, I, what else am I going to do? Like, I'm going to go back to school? Yeah. I'm going to learn how to read and write like you? Yeah, I'm a lot older than you. It hurts, trust me. Yeah. I mean, you could get a gas station. Or buy a gas station. You know, I might do that. Part of the solution rather than part of the problem, Mike. But we'll see what happens. Let's see what the future has in store for us both. Solar power. <laughs> That's a good band name. This has to do with a lyric from your first Fat Records release. Uh, Shit. Half Step Up. And it's, uh, what do you do uh, when doing what you love gets you nothing, it, or gets you nowhere, it gets you nothing? Um, what do these lyrics mean to you uh, when you wrote them, or what did? Uh, and what do they mean to you now? Have your lyrics taken on an alternative or different meaning as you've aged? Uh, I wrote What's the lyric? I wrote the lyric, uh, what do you do when doing what you love gets you nowhere, gets you nothing? Is that about uh, masturbating? It's, it was. It's not anymore. But originally it was. I've never told anyone that, mm -hmm. actually. Um, a lot Are of people have asked. And I the just Barbara never... Walters of <laughs> Renaissance I, no, I haven't learned how to cry yet, so I, uh, we'll have to, the jury's out on that one. But, um, <laughs> the, uh, the jury wouldn't have any problem with me crying. I don't know why I brought that up. It's it, strange. I'd have to talk to a lawyer to see if that was admissible. It feels good it to cry. It might be stricken from the it record. It also feels to, yeah. yeah. Um, what was the, qu oh yeah, the lyric thing. Um, <laughs> I actually forgot. Uh, I wrote the lyrics, um, what do you do when doing what you love gets you nowhere, gets you nothing? Probably in like 2006 or five, when the band was first starting to tour, and it was weird because we started to tour when we were like 17 years old. So we were like, work so hard, and we were having a lot of fun. We were like working really hard and trying to like convince people to give us a chance, like when we were out on the road, because not like that many people like fucked with us outright, but a lot of people looked at us like, Jesus, these fucking Canadian kids. Like, it was weird. We had like a bit of a hard time at first, and it just started to like actually permeate more and more into what we did, where we were like moving forward and stuff with the band, and it was cool. But then like you know we're faced with that harsh reality of you know the fact that you need money to survive yeah. and then you're in a band and then that's not really in the cards for you and I think like those lyrics still to this day like ring true with me as far as as far as like what I initially wrote it about I can still see that but I have no right to complain about it I just um, it's always a struggle that's the thing it's like especially I think with more, like certain genres of music more than others there's always a struggle but at the same time like people who start punk bands kind of enjoy it like enjoy the struggle like even secretly some people just like really love it you know what I mean like it, it's a it's a motivator you know yeah. and I mean it's 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 easy to write songs when you're struggling and you're you know like you're... I want it to be hard to write songs because I'm so <laughs> affluent you're so stoked and <laughs> just yeah. rich it's... yeah um, I think those lyrics still mean everything they meant to me before, just a, it, a, in, in a bit of a different hue or something, you know? It's, uh, I still work a job when I'm home from the road and stuff, and I'm doing like a solo album tour now that's a new thing for me, so like what you were saying, like diversifying what I'm doing yeah. and stuff, but at the same time, it's still a struggle, so it's still, like, it, it, I've, I've, I've been more places than nowhere, and I've done more things than nothing, for sure, but it's still, there's that weird... You always have that like yearning for more. Never feels. I, you always hear like about bands that have like the overnight success. You're like, what was that like? Because it's been any success that we've had, which is whatever. It's been such a slow uphill gradient that it never felt like. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Or whatever. Same. Same and, with, uh, same with and the flatliners. It's always and it's really easy to look at like a lot of other bands and go like, man. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get there? What do you, yeah. I want to get that. And I think that goes like all the way up to the top. Like I've been oh, around like really like famous dude, famous, famous guy bands. Um, Charlie Daniels. Um, no, but like real famous, like famous, successful, like guys that are rich. Like yeah. I would, I would call them straight up rich. And they're like, man, you know, it's just, 
they only gave out so many SNL slots. <laughs> and I really wanted, we really wanted to get SNL, and like, they're, and they're very aware of like, it's a bummer that we didn't get it. it but they're also like, yeah, it's an awesome problem to almost exactly, get or exactly, whatever. But yeah. it's still just that thing of like. I don't know, being hungry to like do the next thing. Totally, yeah. It seems like there's no end to the road. Yeah. That's the thing. And sometimes that's a daunting feeling, like touring a lot, being away from home and missing people and yeah. And just like, you know, like kind of being weird like in a, like a transient mode, you know, you're just kinda like, What am I doing? Where am I going? you know? But yeah. it's it's but then you play and it feels awesome. That's yeah. the thing. You know what I mean? Like all day you could think about why you're here. Yeah. If you're having a bad day. But then you get on stage and it feels awesome. And you you are the reason in the end. That the the road is endless. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can choose to quit yeah. at any time. But you just choose to keep I'm going. in a I'm in a great mood almost oh not a great mood. I'm in a positive mood on the road. Most of the time consider if things are going right, but I've only got and I can do a a bad show or two, like a a, a Little Rock, Arkansas and a, and a even smaller rock Arkansas <laughs> that there's like that there's Tiny like rock. you know Pebble. Like eight people show up, yeah. and you know, three of them actually care, and, and and you're just like, why am I doing this? But man, on if that happens for three shows in a row, that third show, my brain starts to start going like, you what am yeah. I doing? You start yeah. to re, and it's dumb that you should reassess your entire career and life and why you got into all this because of three shows. But that's my I, limit. I mean, it's three yeah. shows. <laughs> that third show is the one where I'm like, what the fuck yeah. am I doing? Like, well, it's especially based on like your geographic location. Like, I feel like punk bands are the only kind of bands, and I could be wrong, but I just believe that they're the only kind of bands that go everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh, we played that place ten times and it sucked. We'll go back. It could be yeah, good this, yeah, this yeah, next time. Like, yeah. What are you talking about? Here they got But I do it all the time. Like here they got a South Park pinball machine now. We should <laughs> yeah. give it a shot. Yeah, I got the inside scoop, man. It's yeah. gonna be great. It's gonna be a way better show. One and, guy I mean, wrote me an email from that <laughs> town. Yeah. yeah. One guy yeah. liked the thing on Facebook and said you should come. We gotta here. go for Greg Rickety, man. We yeah, gotta yeah. go for Greg. He's great. He seems nice. I've never met him. No. I think that's how he spells last name. Train yard Pete. <laughs> Who doesn't come to the show? Who won't come? Yeah, the won't. guy that begged you he to come play the, the town. He leaves dude, me. I was going to come out, but I got baked early. Yeah. I was like, we traveled. Oh, dude, I thought the show was tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. When you guys come back. <laughs> That's always, every single time, yeah. you're like, oh, thanks for, you know, the minute you leave Little Rock, Arkansas, yeah. you get some all caps thing yeah. on Facebook. Come to Arkansas. When are you guys coming to Arkansas? <laughs> yeah. Never again. That's when. <laughs> Rusty Paul or whatever your name is. <laughs> oh fuck, that's a good one. Cool. So the last one, just real quick. Uh, suggested listenings of bands you've really been digging lately. Oh cool. Oh shit. Dude, there's a lot of really good bands from Canada right now, and I, it's it's weird because like Canada is so close to many parts of America, and. It's there. I, there's always been a good music scene there, but it's it's funny because people, people are like, oh man, like any new cool like Canadian bands? Like it's like this far off exotic land. Like yeah. any cool new music? Like whenever someone says the word the, the the phrase new music to me, I just think of like, I wonder if people think that people in Canada are just trying to like pioneer some new genre. Just yeah. like this is Canada, you know, um, some new. Sons of Rush project yeah, just genre. Some, yeah, some weird, some weird thing. Uh, but there are a lot of great bands. There's a band called Pup, Toronto. Band oh, called, I heard them. They're heard awesome. Them. He, uh, played, he played me them. Oh yeah, they're fucking killer, man. Uh, Single Mothers from London. The Dirty Nail. No wait, London. That's in England. Oh no. Well, we're part of the monarchy. Oh okay. So, okay, it's cool. Um, it is in England though. Um, there's a Paris, Ontario. There's a Berlin, Ontario. There's a London, Ontario. Like, figure it out. You know what I mean? Holy mackerel. Um, uh, the Dirty Nail is a really cool band uh, from Hamilton area, I believe. Uh, Teenage Kicks is a really cool rock and roll band from Toronto. Solid is a really cool band from Montreal. Uh, Paul's new band, Hounds, because I'm not in that band, and he's one of my best friends, but they kick ass, so Hounds from Toronto. Uh, yeah. What about you? Oh man, there's a lot. Uh, there's this really great singer named Chris Brown, and okay. he sings. Uh, cool. He sings his uh, songs about punching girls. Is that like? Oh my yeah. goodness! Wow. Uh, no, there's a. I, Jeez. I don't. I don't he sounds. He yeah, sounds he's, he's nasty. Horrible. He's not a good singer anyway. It's very <laughs> troubling. 
why somebody so horrible can be so famous and yeah he did the whole cisco the hair thing time. too didn't he yeah yeah that was weird cisco um, already did it dude I can't yeah. touch nothing cisco yeah. has already been on i listen to a lot of new cisco yeah um, dude he's great man still I, relevant too somehow it's very it's awesome yeah good um, for him what is good i <laughs> what is good what is good i'm really into the new cheap girls record oh it's really good it. really good um, excellent record there's a band uh called um heavy times oh word Chicago okay i'm very obsessed with they're like cool very you're very obsessed with them jesus look out heavy times you seeing this fucking guy soon i got this uh <laughs> i got this uh Trapper Keeper, <laughs> and it's right, Heavy Times, Weeby. That's awesome. Under there, all right, Mike, Times, and there's different variations. Oh, of that's cool. Being married yeah, and that's nice. And that sounds really like sweet. That. Yeah. Um, and thoughtful, actually. And thoughtful. Yeah. Um, I'm really into a, a indie rock kind of rapper guy named Astronautilus. Astronautilus. put out a record with uh, Justin Vernon. Okay. From Bon Iver. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, that's really cool. Um, this band in town called The Fleshlights that I like a whole Word. lot that are about to have a new record. They are, out. sorry, a band called The Fleshlights. They're called The Fleshlights. Okay, it's, you yeah. weren't just talking about. No, no, no. I, I'm a big proponent of those, too. Actually, I'm not. I, I was saying that <laughs> as a joke, but I got one for free once, a fe Fleshlight. And I. It sat around for a while because I was too good to use it. Then I yeah. realized, like, wait a minute, this is me. <laughs> I'm not too good to give this. My a hands shot. tired. <laughs> yeah, so I gave it a shot, and the thing is, um, it felt good, ish. Felt good, ish. Okay, that sounds great. But it's great. like the problem is, it's like so. It's a flashlight, and right. then you take it off, and there's like a a, a, a puss. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeepers. You can't yeah, say yeah. in Canada it's oh. vagina. Oh, wow. And then, but when you... When you oh, when, puss! Yeah. Okay. When okay. you do it, it the thing is, okay. you kind of lose the sense of looking at the vagina because you're doing this and it's just a flashlight. Yeah. So it's not sexy. You're, it's like it's not like you're fucking... It's like you're doing work or something. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like you're like fucking Like all the power now, I gotta go fucking... Flip the breaker or whatever, you know, with, the, with yeah, the flashlight. It's too yeah. much. It's more. It's more. You're flipping your breaker, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you are. Puss. <laughs> it's more like it's more like having sex with a flashlight than a fake <laughs> vagina. That's awesome. Is it? Wait, no. I think I missed no. your entire point. No, no that sucks. No, my, my yeah. foot is asleep too. This is crazy. Oh, I can, you hang know, on. Just, you know what? Oh, hang on. I'll roll wow. my flashlight up and down it, and it'll wake <laughs> yeah. it back up. Is that? Will it work for that too? Mm -hmm. It's, it's called Rolfing. <laughs> Have you heard of Jenkum before? Jenkum. Jenkum. <laughs> Jenkum is a cool thing. Well, it's you should look at it for later. Yeah. 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 You always want to leave the people yeah. wanting more. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Jenkum. All right. Yeah, that jazzy beat. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Jenkum. Jenkum. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ah, it sounds fun. Uh, I'm sure, uh, any other uh, musical groups? <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Oh, came and took it. There's a band. Do you say Chicks Dig It? Oh. Chicks Dig It. There's a band called Chicks Dig It that broke up. That are back together now. Yeah. Came and took it came from and Austin, took it. Texas. Represent. <laughs> um, uh, Jankum. Jankum is weird. when you shit I into feel... a jar and then you ferment it for a while and then you like huff the <laughs> fumes and then you get high. So I've been told. That's a weird. So I've been told. That's a weird thing to name your band. But yeah. A cool thing. Not right. bad, because not a lot of people would get it, you know. And then they that's look it up good. like, oh my god, you know. Yeah. That's a good crusty band name. I know. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> wow, Jerry Rafferty. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what's I've listened to uh, on my. I, I've kind of given up on music, really. That's fair. I'm kind of more into... Ever um, since you heard of Jenkum, you're thinking, jeez, yeah. <laughs> how do I do that instead? I and had, you just shit in a jar. I have an oh. audio recording of Jenkum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of people fuck. doing yeah, Jenkum, of, uh, of just the fermentation. Yeah, it's like, yeah. a, like sped up fermentation. Okay. And you loop it. Oh, just wow. Listen to that and work out. Pump, pump weights. Yeah. We gotta pump something to pump pump it out. Mm -hmm. Make more Jenkum. Keep getting <laughs> fucked up. Cool, man. Yeah. Jenkum. Jenkum. My favorite new band is Jenkum. <laughs> They're a Canadian power 
Power dribble band. <laughs> power dribble. Power dribble. People say they're really shitty. But well, what's that new genre it. you guys are are pioneering? That's in the one. Power dribble. Power dribble. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a there's a U in the word power. Yeah. Yeah. There's a U and then a double U, which is like weird. P O U. W. W. E R. So it's a triple U. I get it. It's phonetic. It's P Canadian, P -O Canadian phonetics. Power dribble. <laughs> yeah, it's it's P O yeah. triple W E R. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah. 